Hi, in this tutorial I'll talk about how we can create our own gradients. Now let's make the gradients tab here active. In here the configure this tab option. Uh, a lot of the options are pretty much the same as palettes, so I'm not going to discuss them. In the gradients menu, we can edit the gradient, create a new one, duplicate, save as Povray, copy gradients location, refresh or create a custom gradient. This custom gradient uh, actually creates an image. Let's click on that to show you. And here we can select the width and the height or to reverse the gradient. Let's just click OK. And it creates this uh, new image from the active gradient. And uh, you can, for example, transfer this image here as a layer or do whatever you want with it. It creates here this tree I created like that. It creates pretty good images from a gradient as you can see that and you can select the width and the height. Now let's click on create new gradient here and we get this gradient editor and uh, the options for this editor we can access by clicking on configure this tab gradient editors menu and these are the options that control the creating of gradients or we can simply right click on the image here and we'll get the same options. Let me just close this image here. Now here instant update. Right now if I am moving my mouse like that you see that I am seeing the changes without releasing and if I uncheck this you see that I'm not seeing any changes. When I release my mouse then I'll see the changes. So this is useful to be on. Here we can uh, zoom in, zoom out or zoom all like that. And here the save option and the revert option for me they're not really working. Maybe you can tell me if this is just with me or you have the same problem. If I made a change on this gradient right now and if I just close it you see that it automatically saves it here and even if I close GIMP and uh, start it again this will still be here so basically it saves automatically and this save option does no makes no difference and here in the revert option I never see it active I thought that uh, if I save and then make some changes I'll be able to revert which can be very useful because if you make a mistake here right now at least in my case I won't be able to revert that I have to start all over again so leave a comment if this is a problem that you have or it's with me somewhere now here in this image we have this segment right now this is just one segment we have uh, handles on the left and the right and we have a midpoint let's right click here move this up a little to see the whole menu edit active gradient what this option uh, does is it's uh, checked by default and if I change the active gradient this uh, will be assigned to the gradient editor if I uncheck that you see that I will not see changes in the editor let's right click again here redistribute handles in segment now to see how that works we have to have more than one segment so let's first see how recenter segments midpoint works so this is our midpoint right now if I do it like that right click here and recenter this midpoint you see how fast that works let's now create more than one segments right click and here I have two options to do that I can split this segment at midpoints which will basically create a one more segment or I can split segment uniformly this option here gives me the ability to create more than one segment right now I'll just split it in two which will create two segments but I can do more than that well, let's just leave it at two. You see right now I created two segments and this yellow indicates a selection. 
If I click on this, I make different segments active. If I hold down my shift key, I can make them both active. And if I have more, I can make more active. So right now, let's move these midpoints like that. And hold down the shift key and select this. Right click here for the menu. And now I can redistribute, uh, recenter midpoints in selection. So not just in the segment, but in the selection that I made. And you see how this midpoints are redistributed and here is the only handle that I can actually move the right one I can't and the the left one I'm sorry and the right one I can't move but the middle one here I can move if I right click here and I can choose to redistribute handles and segment so this basically makes the uh, to uh, actually center these handles have to make a selection like that with the shift key and then redistribute handles in selection and you see how this handle came here in the middle <coughs> now i'll continue in the next video because we have a lot more options to discuss